The Cheyenne Cross is quite famous in holy circles. So let's see how good the beer is from the same monastery. It's beer o'clock and today from the Cloister Shern we have their Cloister Gold Hell coming in at 5.4% ABV. Now, um, the monastery, which is Cloister's monastery in uh, German, um, the monastery Schoen, or Schoen, or however you pronounce it, you know, I'm not very good at pronouncing German, um, it's from Bavaria, it's in Bavaria, and it's established in 1119, so it goes back a long way, and they've been obviously producing this beer, and uh, this is the the, the gold hell, they call it. And a big thanks to Stefan Breen for sending me this bottle in all the way from Germany. Um, he's got to be the, the, the channel's number one German subscriber. But the first thing I, I like about this is the sort of the oldie worldy look on the label. You know, it sort of, it looks like it's come from a monastery. You know what I mean? It's sort of the sort of scrolling and the and the the, the writing, you know, it looks like, you know, it's it's come from a monastery. So, let's crack this open and let's see what it's all about. I'm just going to take the top off a little bit carefully because uh, I've got a subscriber who wants a few of these tops. Uh, so, uh, and that's a nice one. He's not going to get that one from Barry. Look at that one. That's a nice uh, rare one for you. So... There we go. Well, it lives up to its name. What a beautiful golden colour. Plenty of carbonation. Look at that carbonation there. Half finger, nice white. It's a look what a loose foam head on it. Let's get the aroma. I'm getting some really, really sweet biscuity malt from this. And the famous sort of grassy, grassy sort of smell. A little bit of pepper, but a real sort of sweetness to the to the um to the malts. And it's got it's got a hoppiness to it as well, you can smell the hops. Just so I say, it just smells a bit different because of this, this sweet biscuity malt that I'm picking up. So let's dive in and give it a try. Prost, Stefan. Yeah. Very, very biscuity. It really does come through the biscuity malts in this. It's quite sweet. It's a slight sort of. Oh, let's go and have a sip. I'll get some hints of caramel in this, believe it or not. Very slightly. And I think that is because it's quite biscuity. So it's sort of playing with me with my tastes. Yeah, interesting. It's definitely, I'm getting that, picking up a hint of caramel from, the, from these biscuity malts. Um, it's not bitter, this at all. Very sweet, very, very sweet hells this is. Um, it's 
quite flavoursome. It really is quite flavoursome. Um, yeah, it's, you know, you, how can you fault this beer? You know what I mean? It, oh. You know, these, these beers, they, 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 they're all brewed to the, the, the Reinheitsgebot of 15, 16, right, for starters. Which is the purity law. So there's no crap in there. It's hops, malt, yeast, and water. And they just, they just seem to nail it. The Germans just seem to nail this style, uh, this style of beer. You know, your hells, your lagers, your pills. You know, they're just masters of it, to be honest. And you will just find, as, you, <coughs> as you're drinking this stuff, that there'll just be different, different, just little differences between them, and and that makes them stand out. And I was quite interested actually is the actual carbonation of this. Now this is a non-nucleated glass, right? Look at the size of the bubbles that is generating the carbonation. They're really, really big bubbles of. Hence why you had that that real sort of um, that loose foam head on it. And it's because of the size of the bubbles and the carbonation. But yes, this what can I say about this bit? It's it's you know, it does exactly what it says on the tin. You know, it's a hell's and it it's like it's got that just that little bit of difference there where you can get this this very, very biscuity malt come out of it. Um which is different to another hell's. So yeah, a fantastic bit. I'm really impressed with it. See if you can get a bottle of it, and give it a try, leave a comment below, um, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one, and of course subscribe to the channel, um, because without you subscribers the channel's nothing, and like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question, thank you for watching, Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.